Yo guys, welcome back to a PDCGO video. Today guys, we're looking at another Cosmic Eclipse deck. Of course, as always with the daily content for Cosmic Eclipse. In today's deck, I actually wanted to stray away from a tag team for now. But actually look at the new Flygon GX. This is one of my more interesting GXs that I am looking at coming out of this new set. Flygon is cool because we can combine it with, um... We can combine it with red and blue. We can also use Karate Belt. It actually makes for a pretty decent way to power this guy up in like a good succession. So I actually think Flygon GX has some potential to be a good kind of deck similar in like the veins to like how the Rampardo's Fossil deck work. This is kind of how I see Flygon. And uh, with cards like Martial Arts Dojo, Flygon can be pretty powerful in all honesty. So yeah, I'm pretty excited to try it out today on PCGO. So, yeah, before getting the video, of course, shout to our sponsor, Car Carbon TCG, guys. As always, if you're ever in need of any PCO code, specifically right now, if you're trying to just keep getting Cosmic Eclipse packs and Cosmic Eclipse codes, get them over at Car Carbon TCG, guys. And make sure to use my discount code, code LDF, for the checkout for a 5% discount on your order, guys. Uh, helps yourself out, helps the channel out. Bro, it's a women for everybody. So, yeah, make sure to check out our sponsor, Car Carbon TCG, down below in the description. So, yeah, shout out to them. Um, and yeah, let's look at the list here. So this Flygon deck I really like. I think Flygon's cool. So Flygon is a stage two, which is obviously awkward. You know, stage two Pokemon aren't easy to get into play right now. However, we did get red and blue here, allowing us to search deck for a GX Pokemon that evolves from one of your bench Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon. Pretty good. So if we have a, a Vibrava in play, we can turn Vibrava into Flygon with red and blue. However, if you also do this, you can discard two cards in your hand and put two base energies from your deck onto your evolved Pokemon this way. So we can actually use red and blue to put two energies onto our Flygon when we evolve it from Vibrava, which is a really cool combo. So that's kind of the idea here of the Flygon red and blue deck, is you're gonna be trying to use red and blue with Vibrava to go straight to Flygon, and that is how it works with the deck. And I'm pretty interested to see if we can actually uh, make this work, of course. Uh, and again, we'll look at Flygon's attacks um, it does have Desert Hurricane doing 120, and if there's any Stadium card in play, this attack does 120 more damage. So you do 204 damage, and then you discard at that Stadium. So you actually do get to use Martial Arts Dojo with Flygon's attack here, which in turn gives you a potential extra 10 damage, so 250. And with Dionysian in play, you know, that's 270. However, if Martial Arts Dojo is in play and you're behind in prizes, that's an extra... 40 damage on top of that, which is ridiculous. And I'm pretty sure Martial Arts Dojo does work with Flygon. Like, I'm almost 100% sure it does work. So this thing can one-shot stuff pretty easily. And it is actually kind of tanky with Dusty Defense giving this Pokemon 30 extra HP if it's in your active spot. It takes 30 less damage from attack. Same thing, though, you know what I mean? And we have Sonic Edge doing 220 damage for your Jex attack. It's not affected by any effects on your opponent's active, so you go straight to Keldeo, which is kind of cool. So yeah, Flygon GX going to be fun to look at here. Uh, I am using stuff like Jirachi to set us up just for Stellar Wish. Uh, I am playing a Ditto because Ditto can still count as a Vibrava play for Red and Blue. I got a Buzzle in the deck for Sledgehammer. A Dioxy Prism in the deck, obviously, for the extra damage. I am playing one baby Zygarde, really just for Boost Fang. You know, if we ever need to do 20 damage or 40 if we have a Dioxy in play. We just need to maybe get an energy onto our Veg Flygon. That option is available to us. So that's why we are playing the one copy of that. Four Trap Pinch along with our three Vibravas. Now, you could play four Vibrava, but I am playing two Lana's Fishing Rods, so we should be okay of getting our Pokemon back. Um, well, like, I guess, like, the thing is, is the Trap Pinch I'm using. It might not be the greatest, um, but uh, it is what it is. You can use this Trap Pinch, you can use this Trap Pinch, or you can use this Trap Pinch here, which I prefer the other Trap Pinch. Uh, we go to the items now. I am playing one Cherish Ball just to find a Flygon if we ever need to. Uh, two great catchers to be able to obviously bring out a GX and knock it out, hopefully. Uh, again, two Lana's Fishing Rod, four Pokecon, one Rare Candy, one Reset Stamp. Pretty simple stuff. The Rare Candy can come in clutch because it can count as an extra Flygon. Uh, if you want, you can take out a card and maybe run two Rare Candies. Just gives you more outs getting Flygon into play a lot easier. Got two copies of Switch, of course, to move stuff. Three Dojo, two Viridian. You could go four Dojo, one Viridian, which actually I think I'm going to do because I uh, think that's a good idea. Uh, four Cynthia, four Lily, standard draw stuff, but of course we are playing three red and blue because it's one of our ways we're going to get Flygon GX into play. We got two copies of Skateboard, two Karate Belts potentially to allow Flygon attack for two energy, and we are playing a total of ten fighting. Ten fighting is fine. Like, I don't think we need to play, like, any more than ten. I guess, like, an energy recycler could be good in here, but... Our energy recycle system story could be okay, but I mean, outside of that, we should be good. 10 energy should last us, considering Flygon 
can one-shot tag teams pretty easily. It should be okay. So yeah, this is the Flygon list I've gone with here on PCGO. Let's go try it out and see if Flygon can get us some dubs and one-shot stuff. All right, guys, get into a game with our Flygon deck here. We're up against, it looks like possibly a Dark Box deck. I really hope we don't run into any Malamar decks because like that's like everyone plays Malamar right now because it's easy to build. It's annoying as all heck to play against. So hopefully we don't find any Malamar because I am not really feeling it today. But uh, I think we're up against maybe Dark Box, which is good because obviously we are a fighting type. That is obviously one of the good things with Flygon is you can beat Pika and you can beat Dark Box. We didn't really get a good starting hand though, unfortunately. This hand's pretty dreadful. I guess we just Cynthia. I could have a skateboarded, but I'm not going to. There we go, we got a switch for Jirachi. Stellar Wish, gets this Lily. Let's see if we get red and blue next turn. And we'll pass. We don't need to bench the down. See, I don't really think there's a point to benching it right now. Probably not even gonna be needed just because they're playing Dark Box, it looks like. We'll see how long this game lasts. Uh, but if they are playing Dark Box, they can obviously use Guzzlord to maybe KO my Jirachi here to take two prizes, giving them a big lead or race in the prizes. So that could be interesting for sure. But they got two tag teams in play. Double Great Catcher wins us the game. So that's, yeah. I don't know how long this game will last, but we'll see. They're gonna treasure. They're gonna get a lot of poiples here. We're obviously not gonna knock out the poipul. I don't even know if I would want to do red and blue. I mean, I guess we can get rid of the fly god and then like go from there. Okay, let's see. They get another poipul. Will they get energy? They don't. That's good. Drew another lily. All right, we'll just play down this guy. We'll do this, and we'll just lily before we do stellar wish. We didn't get any energy. However, we did get a Pokecom, which I like to see. We'll put back Vibrava for Trap Pinch. Stellar Wish. I guess Cynthia. Man, no energy is a little rough, but since my opponent didn't get energy in play, they got none of the discard. I don't really feel threatened right now. I don't think Jirachi will get KO'd. It's pretty unlikely. We'll see, though. It's, yeah, anything's possible. You never know. Now, we could play the Dene GX's deck, but I don't personally think we need a Dene. That's why I'm not playing it. Ooh, that's a twist. They are playing an Aginado here with Venom Shot. See what else they get here off the Cynthia. They need to get energy in play. They need to build up their board. They need to get ready to, you know, speed my energies. They probably want to move the Poipul because they probably really like to use and treasure charging up Naganadol. But they are going to play Psych Energy onto the Venom Shot and just a pass. Another slow turn for my opponent. I guess we could just do a Karate Belt tactic then to power up Flygon. Finally found energy. Stellar Wish. I guess we'll take a Skateboard. <laughs> sure. Play down Ditto, and we'll pass. Not a great, not a great start on my end. I would have been attacking by now, but I guess my opponent would have conceded a long time ago. I'm actually fine with him letting letting him set up a little bit. I mean, that might sound weird, but it's true. There's a red and blue. He has to get a Weavile into play though in order to make this card work. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, he has to get a Weavile GX out of the deck here in order to make this card work. Or get doubles down on his Naganadels, that works too. So that actually is pretty likely here, he can Venom Shot me here. Hmm. Once we draw an energy, we're in trouble actually if he does get Venom Shot off. Let's see, he does still need a lot, yeah he doesn't have it, okay. Cool. Another energy going on Flygon, we'll skateboard the Jirachi, bump the stadium. Well, Cynthia, try to get another Vibrava here. Nice, we did get one. Let's put back Flygon. We haven't seen a red and blue yet, which is kind of sad, but whatever. 
evolve the ditto because then if it gets knocked out we get lana's rapa the vibrava back and then just evolve the trap pinch uh play this to get flygon Stellar wish what are we getting viridian lily and reset i think we take the viridian because we need energy here i could take in the lily but like my hand look at how big my hand is we need to be able to red and blue into flygon so it kind of sucks that we haven't been able to do that because that's the only that's one of the only ways we get energy in play I'm expecting my opponent to Venom Shot me this turn. It is pretty likely they'll do it. They are going to lose two energy, though. Which, I mean, it, you know, obviously they'll have the doubles charging up. But at the same time, that isn't very good for them. Because that means they're not able to get as much energy in play over time as they would want to. If that makes any sense. There's a Cherish Ball. What will that get them? Get some of Mew 3. Okay. Mew 3 can get one shot by Desert Hurricane. Right. 30, 240, yeah. We can watch out Mew 2 as long as we have the Dodro in play. Let's see. Do they get the attack off here? They are retreating. If they get this Ditto into an again at all, they can attack me here by retreating. Which they do. What is that? An Alolan Persian GX. Okay. Oh! They didn't get the charging up! Oh no! That's not good for them unless they already have it in their hand. Oh, they bought my Viridian. Okay, cool. Bye bye, Viridian Forest. I get rid of a Lily. Looks like they're playing more of a psychic-y build of uh, Weavile instead of more of a dark focus. Which is bad for me and good at the same time. I'm going to draw three cards. What will they get to help them out? They can attack me here. Or they can Venom Shot me. It looks like they're going for it. We'll see what they knock out. They're probably going to hit Flygon for 170. If we can get a dojo here, we can knock out the Mew 3. <laughs> Unless they knock out Dionysi. That would be pretty bad. Especially if they have a way to heal this Mew 3. Because if we don't one-shot the Mew 3, things could potentially get bad. If they have a way to heal it with Super Scoop Up. I don't know if they'll play Super Scoop Up, though. There's no signs of it. Oh, Stalking Claws. Yep, knew it. They're going to knock me out. What does that do? 120 damage. So they knock out the Dynasty Prism. That does mean Dojo gives us an extra 40 damage. So actually, yeah, we still knock him out. So we need to get a Dojo here. Here's how we're going to do this. So we're going to go here. Viridian away the Viridian. Just in case. At this point, we kind of have to. I'm looking for Dojo. There it is. Nice. We got knock it out Mew 3. I'm pretty sure Dojo does work with Flygon. Like, I'm almost 100% sure this works. Well, Lily, we'll save the switch. There's a Karate Belt. Another Vibrava's good. I could have saved the Karate Belt, obviously, but you know what? At the end of the day, this works too. I know I could have switched another Jirachi, but we'll Desert Hurricane. And this should knock him out. Yep, 280 damage, right? Yep, I was right. Okay, Dojo does work. Like, because it, it, it says the text before you discard it. And let's see what our prizes are. Another energy is always nice. And the Cynthia. So I don't know how they can stop Flygon right now. The only thing they can do is... They have to get a huge one-shot attacker into play. That's the only way they can stop my Flygon. The Flygon's going to run over my opponent here. So it's not looking too good for them at all. I am looking to maybe Great Catcher this Weavile out soon too. So they get another Naganadel into play with Charging Up. They could... Venom shot again. I don't know what they would hit though. I guess knock out a Jirachi. Maybe the Buzzwool. Don't know. If they bench that T-Tar and we get Great Catcher, we win the game most likely. So hopefully they bench it. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, Sonic Edge won't go through weakness. So we actually would have to get a stadium to Desert Hurricane the Tyranitar in order to knock it out. But as you can see, guys, lag on. One shot tag teams. Yeah, love to see it. There's that Meow. So yeah, they're not playing the Tyranitar down. They know that if they bench it, they're going to lose the game. They're actually going to go for Spoil the Fun, it looks like. Which is going to do zero damage thanks to Flygon's ability. Now we just need to find a Great Catcher. We'll uh, Stellar Wish try to hit a Great Catcher here. There it is. All 
All right. Cool. We'll great catcher, get rid of trap pinch, and we'll get rid of one of our lilies. We'll uh, knock out that Weavile and prevent him from moving energy around. That actually might be... Oh, slip you first. That might actually be his last Weavile, too. This is well played. And there's all of our blues. Love to see him. We got another Dojo to finish off the game. Oh, we're actually really low on supporters. Maybe I should have got rid of those Cynthia's. Hey, it doesn't matter. He concedes the game. But there you go, guys. Flygon in action, taking out a really interesting build of Dark Box. Yeah, not really focusing too much on the Dark types other than, well, I guess, Nega Guz. Interesting list, though. Definitely a different take on the deck. But as you can see, Flygon not only one-shots Dark types, but it can take out tag teams pretty easily, too, thanks to Martial Arts Dojo, which is pretty cool. So that's one of the things I like about Flygon. His damage output is pretty strong, so that was pretty fun. I'll see you guys in another match. All right, guys, we're getting into another game here with Flygon, and uh, we'll see what we can do. We took out a Mew 3 that game, right? So you saw the power, the strength, the potential of Flygon GX. Hopefully we get to use Red and Blue, though. We haven't been able to use that yet in this video. We're up against a Psychic Dark deck. This could be another Dark Box deck from the looks of it. Judging though they have no Ditto or Dedene. We'll see what we're up against though. You never know, it could be it could be anything. See what our starting hand's looking like. Okay. We have a rare candy and a fly on, but we also have the blue, which is good. So we get a lily here off a of Stellar Wish. That's gonna be really hype. If we can get one flygon into play, we can get another flygon into play here off of our stellar wish, hopefully into a lily. And they're playing a dark deck. Yep, so it is dark box. I kind of feel bad here because my opponent knows that this matchup is pretty miserable, but who knows? Maybe they'll win. Maybe we'll just get unlucky. Who knows? Maybe the Stellar Wish will just be terrible and then we just lose. You never know. We have a Karate Belt, so like, even if Drachi goes down, we can draw an energy here. We can draw a double energy possibly. Go from there. I mean, we have a lot of the good things going for us right now. That is the point. Um... They put two Dark GXs in play, the, or take teams in play. That's how we're going to win the game with a double Great Catcher. Boop, one, one, give me that. Greninja Zoark, there's two. Yep, give me that Greninja. I'll lock that out down the road. Great Catcher for game, guys. Get used to saying that and get used to hearing that and get used to seeing well played if you're wondering if they had the Great Catcher in their hand. See if they get any uh, Sneasels here. Again, they don't play Ditto, which is kind of weird. They just pass. Okay, what do we draw? An energy. Okay, we'll see what this gives us first. Ah, oh, it didn't give us what we're looking for. We'll just take the Lana's Rod. Alright, I guess just taking the switch. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't really matter. What we'll is attach? No we'll pass. Stellar Wish failed us, and we're gonna get knocked out here. But if we draw an energy, we can knock him out with Flygon. Yeah, why did I take the Lana's Rod? I guess I got the Drachi back. Yeah, I should have taken the Switch. Whatever. Dang it, dude. Not great. We're going to get knocked out here, most likely, unless my opponent doesn't have an energy somehow. That kind of sucks. I was right at the early game. In the early game, I was like, yep, yeah, Stellar Wish is going to fail us. And it did. And they do have the energy. I mean, if you want to reset stamp me, yeah, be... well, actually, I don't want to get reset stamp. We just need to oh, just play, play Viridian down, please, and thank you. Just play, please. Do me a favor, and no, they didn't play Viridian. Rip. Well, the good news is they probably can't one-shot Flygon next turn regardless, so let's see what we draw. Oh, yo. That top deck couldn't have been any better. Oh, my gosh. That could not have been a better top deck. We don't have a knockout though, because there's no Sigma in play though, I just realized. Okay, well, 10 damage off. Ugh. Oh, you hate to see it, but whatever. Yeah, that really sucks. 10 damage short of a knockout. It's fine though, we're chilling. He's not going to knock out Flygon, I don't think. Like, I'm pretty sure we're safe here. I mean, he does have a double charging up, but... Like, if Flygon gets knocked out, I'll be really surprised. We are in desperate need of a supporter top deck, though. Maybe I should just Lana Rod get back that Jirachi. It gives me more outs to find into the Jirachi, which gives a stellar wish. Oh, that really sucks, though. That I didn't get the knockout here. 10 HP remaining. I can always knock him out down the road with his Zygarde or Buzzwool, though. 
Wish I played Mew now. I guess Mew is something you could play if you need to kind of build up a Flygon slowly with like the Karate Belt play. If he knocks out Flygon, oh, he gives me a new hand. Okay, well, this should guarantee us hopefully kind of winning here because a new hand should give us something, right? Yeah, Dojo, a great catcher. Yeah, that's pretty much cap. He's got no energy in the discard. He's only going to be doing 190. He's only going to do 100. Not 190. He's only going to be doing... Actually, no, he's only doing 120 here. If he doesn't get, like, a treasure or something with an energy attached to it. I mean, I guess the judge didn't give me the most amazing hand, but we are going to get three prizes here. And if that can get us into a red and blue knockout win the game next turn, I'll take it. Do I knock out the active or should I really? Ah, uh, we shouldn't do great catcher. Like, it's like we can knock this guy out because this thing has 10 HP left, but I don't really think that's needed. All right. Ooh, so there you go. We might actually be able to pull off this red and blue play after all. Take our prizes. Now we just need energy and we win. We didn't get energy, but we do have the red and blue, and that's all that matters. However, will we get stamped to three, or will they judge me again? But this is looking good. This is looking good, though, right now. The red and blue is a big draw. Big, big draw. We just need to hope we don't lose our hand and we find an energy here. That's about it. And then we win the game by just knocking him out with Desert Hurricane. If not, we're probably going to have to play the Switch. And then hope he doesn't have a great catcher to knock out Flygon. That would be pretty bad, but we get to use Red and Blue here, which is nice. We finally get to use the boy himself. I'm just hoping we can draw into an energy to win the game. Erica for three. That is not ideal for my opponent, but that means it's unlikely they'll reset stand me here. They don't play to Dene, we know that much, because they didn't do anything. With um there's no lightning in the deck. Not the greatest Dark Box deck list. Obviously there's no Dene, but Flygon is smacking what it wants to smack, and that is dark and hopefully lightning types. So we do end up finding a Pikaram game. We'll see if we do. So, we just gotta hope to draw an energy to win here. That's about it. That is about it. Unless, like, we could draw a Flygon and the other one might be prized and then we can't actually red and blue. Let's see. We need an energy here and then we win the game. Come on. Let's go. Heart of the cards. <laughs> or not. Is Flygon have a free retreat? No. Well, I'm not got the ditto, I guess. Dojo and Dojo. We're going to need that great catcher. Because we have the down, so we don't really care too much about that. Okay. We might be in top deck mode, but we can still win this game. Not really playing the way I'd want it to play. Obviously, I would have preferred to have won by now, but what can you do? I mean, they might just win in a few turns here if they have a great catcher or double custom in their deck. We'll see. The problem is, too, they might retreat into turning point. That's what I'm worried they might do. Do they have a dark city or a switch? We can't great catcher. We cannot do that right now. But if we knock out Naganda, we're taking a lot of energy off the board. So I don't really mind even knocking out Naganda, though. I'm only doing the Dark City. So we're going to lose here if we don't draw anything. That is unfortunate. 
And we can't Great Catcher either. So we have to hope to draw into a Cynthia here. Or a Lily or something. We're not going to be able to win the game if we don't draw out of this. Oh boy, this is a shame. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Alright guys, we're getting into another game with the Flygon deck. That's a pretty rough loss to take, not going to lie. We got to use the red and blue though, but unfortunately it just didn't get us very far. And are we up against another Dark Box deck? Wow. We might be playing against another Dark Box deck. I did not expect to run into three Dark Box decks today in recording. I guess people are very excited for the new Guzzlord. That's pretty cool. We are mulligan in here, kind of revealing what we're playing. I am starting to maybe consider taking out that Zygarde and throwing in a fourth Vibrava. Or some Poke Gears actually would be good too, but we have the Jirachi, so it's not like too, too important. Uh, we do start with Ditto, not the greatest, but I'll take this hand any day of the week. We're probably having a Dark Box, right? Yep. So, I'm not Treyary picking, but I mean, if we run into three Dark Box games in a row, I can't complain too much when we're playing a fighting deck. But if you do actually pop off here, getting a Dark Ride Double Energy Attachment down, that's pretty interesting. Still though, Dark Box, not a bad matchup at all. The Dark Ride Prism might be annoying, but if we keep our, even having an Escape Board around is good. Especially if we have to attach a Ditto, evolve it into the Brava. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, we're gonna have to probably get rid of one of our great catchers here just to thin out the deck to Lily for five. Okay, we got a Pokecom. Sorry, Trap Pinch, you gotta go back to the deck. I'm gonna have to get a Jirachi instead. Jirachi's more important here. And I gotta hope he doesn't play like Custom Catcher, but again, because of the new set, Custom Catcher should be taken out of most people's decks. So we don't have to worry about that anymore. We didn't really get very far with this hand, though. We weren't able to get a like a red and blue play or anything like that to get a uh, thing into play to get a fly gone that's not good not good at all our start was kind of bad not gonna lie kind of wish i played more ways to find pokemon but there isn't that many good options like I, you could try out oak setup i guess gets you jirachi gets you a ditto gets you a trap pinch but the only problem with that card is is like you also have to play red and blue and draw supporters, so like it's too many and oh, oh I was gonna say, does he play double custom? But he doesn't get a double custom there. Still though, playing custom catchers right now is why? Why? It's like it's like it's like back in the day with the post rotation matchups. Just why? Speaking of just why, just why is our hand gotta be so terrible? Alright, Cynthia. Hook us up. Rip the Burr Candy Flygon. I'll take this hand though. We have red and blue, which is good. I, mean, I guess we gotta take the Brava. Gotta take the Vibrava. Maybe I shouldn't have evolved in case he double customs me, but he's already played one. This is a really not good. I'd rather not do red and blue either because we not much to get rid of here. Not the end of the world though. Once we knock, he has no poivles in play. In once we knock this out, we're taking half of our prizes. Now we gotta do is take out one more tag team to win the game, and uh, that's good. We'll be close for a sledgehammer turn. Let's get a counter stadium though. My gosh. That means Black Market will actually be in effect. We didn't draw a stadium. Bruh. Oh, we only have one flag on in the deck? Go figure. We can knock him out. We're only gonna take one prize though, because the black market is in play. Or not one, two prizes, sorry. Hopefully they're good stuff. Buzzwool, okay. Really red and blue. Okay. The buzzle's good. If he doesn't get a prize this turn, we get our sledgehammer turn, which is nice. And we only give up one energy, too. No supporter, though. No sign of Jirachi. Not looking great. But all we gotta do is knock this guy out, knock out one other thing, we win the game. Shouldn't be too hard to do that. 
there's a Cynthia. So, <coughs> we are going to be able to sledgehammer here. So, let's see if he gets anything going. Like, he doesn't have a fair play right now to Dark Moon, which is good, unless he benches a Poi Pull and Beast Rings to it. That's the only way he can knock out Flygon. Set that T-Tar Sableye, and just a pass. So my opponent kind of seeing things aren't looking good for them right now. Yes. We drew a Cynthia. Hallelujah. Try to get more Trap Pinches here. No. Oh, no. Yeah, we do. What am I saying? Ooh, pretty good hand. Okay. Jirachi comes down, too. And we get to Sledgehammer, knock him out, take a prize. And all we got to do is take out this Darkrai or the Tyrantar. We win the game. And with Flygon being on our bench, it's looking pretty good. And possibly we can get a... Red and blue off maybe next turn if somehow Flygon goes down and we can win the game. So I didn't expect three Dark Box games in this video, but PDCGO just threw a three at me in a row. So I can't complain too much, I guess. You know, it's, it's a good matchup. I guess we got to show the downside of Flygon. Not getting the Flygon into play quick enough with red and blue, as you saw in that last game. Can lose you the game. Well, let's see. They're in a bit of a pickle right now. I don't really see how they can get out of this. They could, like, Dark Moon me. Like, Knockout Buzzle or Dark Moon wouldn't be bad for them either. But it wouldn't be good either. Because, like, that's your GX attack gone. And also, like, we can't play items. So we went with a Lily, and then we just have the whole drawn energy. But probably won't. So we'll see what they do. I mean, they might just knock me out with Black Lance just to get... Uh, 60 damage on Flygon. Flygon's ability only activates when it's in the active, so it can actually take 60 damage here. But they knock me out. We just gotta find energy and we win the game. So it's like not too... And they gave us a Viridian, so all we gotta do is find our last Great Catcher now? Yeah, our last Great Catcher, we win the game. Assuming they knock me out with Naganadel here, which is what they're probably gonna do. I don't really see how they're gonna win this at this point. There's... They asked, they, I guess Stamp would be their best bet. But because Viridian's in play, like, they just gave us a free energy for Desert Hurricane. So I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Well, they could double custom me and then Dark Moon my Flygon. That is a possibility. I keep... That's something that I can't rule out quite yet. They could do that. That would be pretty bad, in all honesty. But they only have three cards in their hand, the likelihood of them doing that is not very high. I only have a beast ring though. But only one energy, so they're probably low on energy right now. Four, five, seven. Yeah, they're like pretty much out of energy. So they have four in the discard pile. Dark box though, with red and blue, gonna be trying that out very very soon because that definitely i think upgrades the deck quite a bit okay so all we have to do now is draw into great catcher and we win the game and knocking this guy out is good anyways because they'll be really low on energy a rod i guess we're playing it to put back a trap in sure Get the trap and show. Actually, we should go double Jirachi. We have our other skateboard, right? Yeah, yeah, we should go double Jirachi. Possibly gets us there. Great catcher? No, we do get a karate belt. I'll take it. We would actually need it here if they do knock out Flygon next turn if something goes wrong. Pull Lily first before I switch. Yeah, so we didn't get the great catcher. We did, however, get a red and blue, though, which is good. So we're going to get the extra energy in our hand. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to switch into Flygon. We're going to attach. And we're just going to hit him with a Sonic Edge. So that we keep the Viridian in play. In case we need the extra energy at some point. Seems good. There's another Flygon. I think the other one is in the deck, so we should be able to red and blue here. That would be pretty bad if we can't. But again, I don't really think we're getting knocked out. We just took four energy off the board, or three energy off the board. There's no other Nagandels in play. They don't even have a Beast Ring turn anymore, even if they had some crazy Poiple energy recycle system combo. There's nothing they can really do. The only thing they can do to stop me is attack with Darkrai, which I guess isn't bad for them, because we just played a Switch. 
No, but they can see the game. Okay, well, I'm gonna wrap the video here with the Flygon deck. We showed off its strength and we showed off, <laughs> I guess it's like main weakness. Um, I think we should definitely maybe switch up the or change up the list a little bit after recording today's video I think this Zygarde can go. I don't know. I thought it'd be kind of cool to use but we didn't really get to use it I could probably take out one Lana's fishing rod too um, And I mean I wouldn't mind throwing in a fourth for Brava and another energy wouldn't be bad either or maybe an energy recycle system just Some way to get energy back or the extra energy I think is needed other than that though This is a very fun deck to play and Flygon does have potential We were able to take out a Mewtwo tag team with this card in one blow so this card's potential was shown in this video. We got to play a three Dark Pox decks in a row, which is hilarious. But that'll wrap the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you like on the video. Don't forget to subscribe down below to home the road to reaching 6,000 subscribers. We're getting very close to 5,900 subs right now. So if you're not subbed to the channel, make sure to do so. And also make sure to check out our sponsor, Car Carving TCG, down below too. If you get anything from there, use code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your order. Help yourself out. Support the channel. Win-win for everyone. I'll see you guys with a PDCGO video tomorrow. Another Cosmic Eclipse deck. Have a good day. Bye-bye.